Hello, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway. I've written several Tudor history books and I'm also the founder of the Tudor Society website and I also run the Anne Boleyn Files website too. I'm here every day of 2019 bringing you uh, Tudor history events for each day, whether they're births, deaths, marriages, coronations, someone writing an important letter, an annulment, you name it, I've got it for you. Okay, I'm going to take you back to King Henry VIII's reign today. For it was on this day in Tudor history, the 27th of May, 1537, which was Trinity Sunday that year, that there were celebrations in London. Now, these celebrations followed the news of the quickening, i.e. the first movement, of Queen Jane Seymour's baby. So Jane was pregnant and she noticed the baby move for the first time and had informed people and it was a joyous occasion. This was of course just under a year after King Henry VIII had taken Jane Seymour as his third wife following the execution of Queen Anne Boleyn, his second wife. It was of course hoped that this baby that Jane was carrying would be the prince, the longed for prince that Henry VIII had been hoping for, the legitimate heir to the throne since 1509. Now, chronicler and Windsor Herald, uh, Charles Risley, records the celebrations in London in his chronicle. He writes, also the 27th day of May, 1537, being Trinity Sunday, there was a Te Deum sung in Paul's, that's St Paul's, for the joy of the Queen's quickening of child. My Lord Chancellor, Lord Privy Seal, with diverse other lords and bishops being then present. The mayor and aldermen, with the best crafts of the city being there in their liveries, all giving laud and praise to God for joy of the same, where the Bishop of Worcester, called Dr Latimer, made an oration afore all the lords and commons. After Te Deum was sung, showing the cause of their assembly, which oration was marvellous fruitful to the hearers. And also the same night was diverse great fires made in London, and a hogshead of wine at every fire for poor people to drink as long as it would last. I pray Jesu, and it be his will, send us a prince. So Charles Risley is there saying, you know, that he's praying that this baby that Jane is carrying will be that prince. Now, the quickening of Jane's baby was a joyous event. The news also sparked off celebrations in other places, so not just London. A sermon was preached in the city of Oxford, exhorting the people to give praise and pray that it may be a prince. Guns were shot at Calais along with the singing of a Te Deum and fires were also lit there and similar celebrations also took place in Guin. And according to Thomas Howard, Duke of Norfolk, the city of York celebrated with a Te Deum and bonfires throughout the city. And Norfolk, in a letter to Thomas Cromwell, wrote that he'd ordered four hogsheads of wine out of his cellar to be laid abroad at night to be drunk in diverse places freely. So can you imagine these celebrations? Uh, Te Deums being sung, bonfires in the street, uh, wine flowing, you know, free wine for the people. This was such a joyous occasion. The Queen was pregnant. And of course, this time, Henry VIII was not to be disappointed as he had been done, has as they had with uh, Anne Boleyn with the birth of Princess Elizabeth, who of course was expected to be a boy. He was not to be disappointed this time. On the 12th of October, 1537, the eve of the feast of St. Edward the Confessor, Queen Jane Seymour gave birth to a son. The couple named him Edward and Edward became king on his father's death in January 1547 and ruled until his own death in July 1553. 
he was just 15 when he died, so he never actually reached his majority and ruled in his own right. But when Henry VIII died in 1547, he could leave the throne to his legitimate Prince of Wales, Edward. He'd, he'd done what he needed to do. The Tudor succession was secured by Edward's birth in October 1537. So that's what happened on this day in history in uh, 1537. We have lots of celebrations because Jane felt her baby move for the first time. A joyous occasion for the people of England and uh, who I'm sure enjoyed that free wine. Okay, that's today's On This Day in History. Um, I'll bring you another event, of course, tomorrow. So I will see you then. But in the meantime, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking round about there. Hit the bell to be notified of videos as they go live. But be assured there'll be at least one every day for you to enjoy. Um, and of course, you can like this video if you've enjoyed today's event and me bringing it to you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.